Removing your Bronco's doors isn't just about the looks, it's about maximizing the full off-road experience. On tight trails, having no doors means less scratches and less trail damage. Plus, let's be honest, driving without the doors just makes the ride more fun and immersive. But once the doors are off, where do you store them? You might've gotten the door bags when you bought your Bronco, but those bags offer minimal protection and don't solve the problem of safe, space-efficient storage. You still need to find a way to store the doors without cluttering your garage or risking damage. That's where the easy 4x4 aluminum folding rolling cart comes in handy. This cart is designed to make storing and transporting your Bronco doors simple and hassle-free. So we have all the pieces organized and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. These pieces right here, you want the circle piece that's right here to go ahead and go up to the top. The other side has like a hexagon, you want that facing down. You want the circle piece facing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of align it just like that. So taking the handle right here, I'm gonna go ahead and place this between the bars. So what I'm actually going to do now that I have it aligned is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna be sticking the bolts that I'm gonna be using right through here. I'm gonna be using four of these at the moment. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting on these nylon washers onto each of these bolts. And then once we get it through the pole, we're going to be putting washers on the other side as well. So I am just working my way through each one. Really quickly, what I did is when I put this bolt in here, I went to the furthest hole right here. So that way, we have the room for other bolts when we get there. Now that I have everything through the other side, I'm gonna be taking more of these nylon washers and placing them on each of the bolts. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this bracket, we're gonna slide it on. Just wanna make sure everything's aligned. And once that's on, you can go ahead and tighten the bolts. The next part is we're gonna be using these pins right here. Now this side slides right off like that. And you're gonna be sticking this end into the hole next to that bottom middle bolt. Now it was a little stubborn at first to get it through, but once you push it through just enough, it goes right through. And what you need to do is you need to lift it and bring this piece over to this side. And you're gonna go ahead and pull it to lock it in place. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So the next step is going to be installing the wheels. So first things first, you're gonna go ahead and remove the nut that's on it and remove the washer that's on it because those are gonna go on top of the bar. So you're gonna go ahead, slide this underneath. Now that hexagon piece that was underneath that I showed you guys is meant to lock onto the nut that holds the wheel tight in place. So you will feel when it goes all the way through. Now from here, I go ahead, I'm gonna hand tighten and then I will go around and tighten all of them once they're all on. You can see it peeks through. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up since I have all of them. Now there are five wheels to install. So I know what you're thinking. You guys saw the metal bolts on both sides that could easily cause scratches to your door. Well, they come with little plastic caps that we're gonna go ahead and put on and that will protect your door from these metal pieces. So what we're installing now is actually the hooks that are gonna be securing our doors into place. Now they are, actually labeled, which is very helpful because there are six of these guys. So it says top, middle, and low. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the top ones. We are gonna be using these brackets right here to secure it on the outside like this. 
And you want to make sure there are two different sized hooks. There's a shorter one and a longer one. The shorter one is actually going to go towards the carpeted area of your cart. Now for the top hooks, you want to make sure you go from the outside in, aligning it like that. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten this to make sure it doesn't fall off while we're working on the bottom one. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Remember the smaller or the shorter hook is going to be going towards the carpeted side of your cart. So I'm going to go ahead, grab the bolts and we're going to align it just through here first. And now I can go ahead, rest that on there, hand tighten. Again, just holding it into place while I grab the other bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and install the low bars next because the installation of these are almost identical to the top bars, except it's going to be lower like down here. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, ensuring that the shorter hook is facing the carpeted side. We're going to go ahead, place that through, line up the hole. I'm going to hand tighten. The next step is going to be to go ahead and install your middle hooks. Now, these ones are slightly different because the hooks are going to be facing down and this is actually going to go on like this with the bolts going from the inside out. You're using these U-shaped bolts right here that have an adjustment tool as well as a nut. Now unlike the other two hooks where the shorter hook was facing the carpeted side, on this the shorter hook is actually going to be facing outside away from the carpeted side. So you want to make sure that you know which side goes on which before you install it. Now once you removed the alignment knob as well as the nut, you need to go ahead and remove this bracket because this is actually going to go on the outside. So once you have your middle piece, you have just the U-shaped bolts like this. One side is slightly longer. The longer side you do want to have facing outwards away from the carpeted area because that's where your adjustment bolts piece is going to go. Now that I have that on there, we're going to go ahead and place the bracket. And this does end up being a little bit complicated only because you have to hold it in place. There is nothing holding it in place besides your fingers while you go ahead and try to tighten. So the idea is you're able to tighten and loosen this knob as necessary when you are putting your door on to go ahead and lock your bottom door pin into place using these two hooks right here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side by starting with that U-shaped bolt, removing the alignment tool as well as the nut and the flat bracket piece. When I align this, once again, I do want to make sure the shorter hook is on the outside facing away from the carpeted area. So again, you want to make sure the longer side of the U-shaped bolt goes on the outside. Once you have that into place, you take the flat bracket to the back side. And then this time I'm actually going to go ahead and do the adjustment tool first because that'll hold it into place while I do the nut. Now that the cart is built, let's go ahead and remove the doors off the Bronco. So the very first step before we do anything, we have to go ahead and roll down the window. So I'm going to jump into the Bronco, turn on accessory power, get my windows rolled down. So we went ahead and rolled down the window. So we're going to go ahead now and push this mirror all the way back. And now we're going to go ahead. These are protectors that are actually in your Bronco toolkit. You want to go ahead and install one of these on your fender and one of these on the door to prevent your paint from chipping on either side. There's one. There we go. So to take this piece off, you're going to go ahead, lift up this cap and pull out. The cap will automatically close right on top. There's one. 
bolts. One is definitely longer than the other. The longer one is gonna go on the top side of the door, the shorter one goes on the bottom side. I'm gonna tell you, I wanted to see if I could lift it by myself and I thought I had a little bit more play to be able to lift it before it came off. It did not. So, if you're like me, smaller in stature, you might need somebody to help you uh, so you can avoid that. Luckily, the cart, I put the cart right here so it didn't hit the ground. It actually hit the carpeted side of the cart. So I'm sure the door is protected. So now I'm gonna have Devin come help me align it on the cart. Yep. Which I guess makes yep. sense because it prevents your paint. It puts your paint towards the inside. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this guy because I'm gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down. You can see it rests right on that bracket. And then we go ahead, we tighten it to lock it into place just to give us that extra security that this door's not going anywhere. Ready? Yep. Oh, this is easy, Erica. Oh. There's that one. Yep. Top. Yep, you're good. Lock it in. That's not going anywhere. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these doors and store them in my garage. Right underneath my hard top. Right out of the box, this thing worked perfectly. The construction is super solid, but lightweight enough that it's easy to move and it's slim enough to slide right into the garage without taking up much space. And honestly, it's 100% worth the investment if you wanna protect your doors and keep things organized. I can't recommend this card enough, whether you're serious about off-roading or just want to make your Bronco experience more fun and hassle-free. This is a must-have accessory. Are you curious about how we removed and stored our Bronco hardtop? Click here to watch our detailed video. And don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below if you have any questions or you just want to share your own door removal storage solutions. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.